of your exit interview what was emphasized? Um, basically, just I need to work. You know, be ready for the next year uh, for the lockout, a you know, possible lockout, and um, you know, just staying in shape and be ready. So you think you need to work any specific parts of it? Uh, just just some fine tuning, you know, being confident out there, being uh, myself, playing my game, and um, you know, with the amount of weight that I lost, um, you know, playing with a new body, just getting adjusted to it. Um, you know, between my college career, 30, 40 pounds, and uh, you know, I still want to lose like another 15, 20 pounds before next season. Uh, 280, you know, 275, 280. Yeah, something like that. What do you plan to do this summer in terms of that? What's kind of the program? Uh, just continue to keep eating healthy. Um, you know, boost up my cardio uh, during the summertime, and uh, you know, do a couple. I might start you know, boxing, some ballet, you know, flexibility. Just open up, uh, you know, my hips and, and different things like that. You work on cardio then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably not. I'll be in LA uh, in a few weeks working out here, uh, but most of the summer I'll be in Florida. Derek, what do you take out of this season more than anything else? Uh, just knowing what it takes, you know, to uh, you know come in day in day out and uh, work hard and be able to perform at the same time, and uh, you know take care of your business, your, your business. Uh, just handling, you know, the, the case. Oh, no, it's uh, no trial day. Uh, you know, just going to court. Um, and I have to fill out a few things with my attorney. And uh, uh, no, I just know I just gotta keep in touch with my attorney and uh, go from there. No. Um, yeah, he talked about it. Just. Um, you know, hopefully just getting it cleaned up and uh, all things work out there. That should be fine. What, a, what, did, what did you take away, I guess, from your movie year in terms of how, I guess, how successful you think it was, how you performed when given the opportunity? Uh, there's a lot of things I felt I could have done a lot better. Um, just being prepared earlier in the season when I had those early opportunities. Um, you know, but that's just something I... So I get better at, you know, focusing in, locking in uh, mentally and um, being able to perform what I know I can. So that, that's a common occurrence with rookies, just having to figure out a way to adjust. If you're, you're used to playing big minutes, right, in college, you have to come in and find mm -hmm. a way to still be effective in, in a small window. Was that something that you – is that what you're referring to? How was the foot early? In uh, just, just in general, locking in, even, uh, you know, during the game, if I make a certain move. Um, not finishing strong or, um, you know, not watching the ball, you know, follow through the net and just little basic things that um, you learn in, you know, grammar school that I just wasn't focused on. How much harder is it at this level in the last um, I think it's easier, you know, if uh, you, know, you, you, you have a coach that allows you to play your game and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much like high school where, uh, you know, if you can do it, then do it. Uh, versus, you know, when you're in college, you know, you have um, a lot of coaches that, you know, try to fit this player to that certain system in their program. And, um, you know, it can confuse kids sometimes. Transferring, you know, going over to this level. Professional. What did you learn from Phil out of this whole experience? You know, how did you see this meal before the things that was and all that, but what jumped out of it? I guess it's what it takes you know to be a champion really um, you know everything he does um, how he gets the team ready is just uh, <laughs> one of a kind I've never seen it and the way he does it is just amazing you know dealing with everything uh, that you have to deal with you know, day in day out can you summarize that? Just how, how you felt like he his unique way of preparing a team. Um, 
I mean, it's probably difficult to when it's worse. But. Yeah, it's just uh, you know, a lot of things that I guess um, we may think or want to say. Sometimes he just says it, and um, you know it uh, benefits you know most of the guys on the team and um, allows a player to you know develop and um, you know believe in himself and do what he can, what he feels he can do or achieve. Any specific examples you remember? Is that with everybody? Uh, just I mean anything, man. You know, just going from the books, you know, certain books he hands out to you to read. Um, no, he doesn't coach. He doesn't coach everybody the same. So it's just you know, you just got to be there. Oh no, I wish I did. You know, did a better job with that. You know, um, but it's life. It happens <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Did they, did they talk about summer? Um, if there's one, I'll be participating in it. Um, I might have to come back and work out for the team. Um, I'll prove that I uh, you know, belong on the roster. So that's what I'll do. You won more one-on-one -on -one games between you and Ebanks. I did. Even though he'll say he did, but that's just, that's false. What was the score? I don't know. We played always series uh, best out of five. Uh, game to seven, win by two. And uh, one night I had him in here. I, I let him beat me a couple times uh, so we can go to, like, you know, last game in a series of five. And um, I think the first night I let him beat me, and then his confidence was way too high. So the next few games and one-on-ones, uh, I couldn't let him beat me. There was a shoot-around where Trey said that he beat one-on-one. Trey, that beat, me. Trey beat me. Trey beat me one-on-one. Yeah, Trey beat me one-on-one. <laughs> but it hasn't played me since. So. Was <laughs> just hitting outside shots? Or was getting, getting uh, no, I was, I was putting him in the drive, and he just made a couple – um, you know, BS step backs that uh, he made. So, so. who is the uh, the most fun old veteran teammate to be around? Mm. Veterans, maybe Theo. You know, I talked to Theo a lot in you know, those playoffs. Theo was funny. Um, all the guys, you know, Fish, uh, Cole, Bello, uh, all the guys, pretty cool. Are you able to break down what you learned from each go down the list? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, <laughs> when I can't go, yeah, college, down, college, yeah, each and everybody, but yeah, I mean, just just everybody, you know, uh, <laughs> Bello keeping, you know, guys loose and stuff like that on the bench. And, um, you know, be fish and you know pe having people locked in and really trying to focus on the goal ahead and um, you know give their all. You know, those two guys right there. So everybody else brings their own little thing to the table. You, you talked during the summer league and during the preseason early on about the maturity that you wanted to gain during this experience as a rookie. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you feel like you I guess achieved that or some of it, all of it? Mm. Not, not all of it, you know. I felt I could, uh, I could have helped, um, but if I showed that I was ready, you know, for the time that I got, and um, I'm just disappointed that I, I couldn't uh, have been more of a factor, um, you know, knowing that, um, you know, I could have helped. And I definitely have the time to do it. Um, just didn't execute. That's all. No excuses. Just uh, staying true to your word, you know. If I say I'm gonna go do this, then do that. <laughs> you know, if I say I'm gonna, you know, work out at a certain time, not pushing it back. Um, you know, coming up with a plan and sticking to the plan. Thanks, Derek.